hello uh, so in today's video I am going to show you how to create a high quality professional looking church poster or flyer or a social media flyer that you can use to share the to share events about your church or anything yeah anything that is church related so let's start from scratch create design from scratch uh, choose a uh, Instagram post choose inst damn, damn, damn. Uh, choosing Instagram post as the size then uh, I'll use a solid color background apply come here to add from my photos uh, for example, now I, I already have a bunch of photos uploaded, but if you don't have them, you can go online and source them and use them for your posters. So I have some gradient backgrounds that I already have uploaded. So I'll just go here and load one of these. I will resize and uh, cover the whole artboard as a background. Yeah, and then I'll put a tint on it. Probably, or oh, let me use, uh, let me use multiply. Something like this. Then I'll go back to my photos and add, add a PNG. I will use this one here so add photo and then I'll crop it it has a very big negative space so I don't need it there you go then I'll rotate it a bit and then scale it out like that a bit further I will duplicate this and rotate it almost the same angle and put it up here. Then I'll go back to my photos. I will load this from social media. Social media icons. I will crop out the unnecessary parts. Yeah, perhaps use these three. Come to tint, opacity at 100, and change this color to white. Come back to my photos. I have a collection of church images or concert-like images, so I can use one of them. Oh, I will use this one. Crop it a little bit. Uh -huh. Scale it up like that. Then I'll apply an edge effect called gradient. Reduce the opacity to zero. Then I'll send it back to bottom forward so that it is behind this PNG in here. PNG image here. After that, I will go back to my photos. I'll load uh, an image of the minister or the pastor of the guest speaker load it in like that i will send it backwards until it is behind this png image here probably scale it a bit higher yeah and then you can add some text uh, 
uh, change this text to white. I'll probably use a church name here. Maybe a church is called Hope Hill City Chapel. So that is the name of the church. I'll get a logo and put it there. So I'll copy the text and move it. Then I'll change this font to robot. This one here. And that's it. And then here I'll say, uh, I'll change this to another font. This one. Something like that. Maybe I'll say Sunday. Sunday service. Welcome to our Sunday service. So this is the main text. So this uh, main text, I'll use an outline like that and reduce this outline maybe 10 then change this color to white then next thing is go to fill color then change from solid to linear the first color i'll use a uh, yellow or orangish the next, next color I'll use a, a more orange-ish, red-ish. Yeah, color like that, so that we have a gradient color. So I will apply a, a shadow like that. And then I will... Uh, move it backwards so that it is behind this guy here then i'll duplicate again another text here come here and say service this one i'll change it to something fancy something like Puzzle regular is a good font. Let's let it load for me. There you go. Scale it up like that. Can you use a shadow there? Yeah. Duplicate another text and maybe here now I'll write Welcome to our Sunday service Duplicate the text and then say I'll write here with Pastor James Johnson yeah, or You can use the name of the pastor or the minister here or the guest Duplicate this text again. I'll move this one up a bit. And then this one will come here so that we write our date here. Can say 20th June. Now we are in August, September. Let's put some design on it. 20th. Duplicate that, maybe write September, then what? I will also duplicate this small text. And say from 10 a.m. So 
that done, I uh, will duplicate that and now maybe add a uh, physical address over here. Maybe you can say um, main sanctuary. Make it a little bit bigger. say a physical address maybe 8th street avenue one two three uh chicago you can now put your physical address there something like that move it down a little bit so that you can add some text here let us add some other text here. You can say uh, this phrase worship prayer word. Or maybe if you want to put a verse here, you can put a, you can use a theme verse and put it in this place. or anything maybe a small text that introduces your introduces your theme for that service from there come uh, another text down here maybe i'll just say uh, at Hope Hill City Church, Hope Hill, Hope Hill, City Chapel, and then probably you can also add a website, a phone number and a website, or an email and a website, depending on what you have, one, two, three, so you add your phone number there then uh, add your website here and there you have it just scale it out like this with this done uh, now we can uh, what else do we need to add? Let me try and get some elements. Maybe a light flare. I don't know if I have any. Let me check if I have any of that. A lens flare or a light effect. I should be having one. Maybe this one. One of these, not sure. Let me check. Oops, it's not the one. Oh, yeah, I got one, yeah. Let me delete this. Don't need this. So I have this light effect. I've, I have loaded it in. Just push it backwards, like that. So that it comes on top of this main text. You can also duplicate another one and put it down here like that then let me check if there's another element I can add in this uh, yep there's something I can add just to make it more beautiful can use this and just pull it here then come to tint and put the opacity to 100 then uh, change this to white and then I'll come to edge effects and use oval scale it out like that and then I'll move it backwards until it is on top of the main text like that 
and then finally you can add a little bit of graphics and choose the I'll use this one maybe this one and use this one scale it out like that and then I'll change this to white opacity at 100 then I will uh, set the main opacity to maybe something like 30 then I'll push it to backwards so a shorter way to do that is to come to positions and do push it to bottom then move it forward maybe a step or two like that And then this one, uh, this other graphic, the graphics, I can now put it somewhere in the corner, somewhere like here. I'll change it to white, so I used tint, opacity to 100, and then I change it to white, like that. Let's get a logo. Or oh, I can use this one as a logo as well. Just duplicate this. And put it here. Maybe I'll flip it like this. It looks like a logo now. So that is where you'll put your church logo. And there we have a design. It has a date, time, the name of the event, and the name of the speaker. And then the venue is here. We have a full design. So what the next thing that you do is you come here to download for this tutorial i use basic free image which may come with a I may come with a watermark i don't think it will come with a watermark but you can get a higher quality image high quality image for three dollars three us dollars here and then uh, You click on download. It has finished downloading, so I'll just go to my downloads folder and check it out. Here you are. Open it and see how it looks like. So here it is. It's a very professional looking design. And somebody will think you used Photoshop or other design tool, complex design tool, but just for some hours, which is easy to use. Anyone can use it, or uh, even if you're a non-designer, you can as well. Just find a, find your way around it and design things. Now, if you want to customize this template, I'll leave a link in the description so that you can access it and customize it to your taste. Uh, you can promote me by downloading the uh, high quality version of it for three dollars. I get a small commission for it. If you don't have an account on Posta Mawola, I'll leave a link in the description box so that you can sign up. Yes, and that's it for this video. I'll see you in the next one.